Hello, welcome to this YouTube tutorial video on creating the Northern Lights effect nail art. So today I'm going to talk you through how to do each step of this. Um, we start with a prepped nail. I've used the Halo Elite files to prep the surface of the nail and I've then wiped over the surface of the nail using my Halo Prep and Scrub and a Melt Blown Elite Wipe. So once your nail surface is all prepared, the first thing you need to put on there is a base coat. So you would bounce that up to your cuticle and then bring it all the way down the length of the nail to the free edge. Not forgetting, of course, to cap the free edge. Once you've got your base cut on, we're going to pop that in the light and cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, so your next step after your base coat would be apply your base colour. I'm using navy for mine to give it that lovely dark night sky feel. So again from your cuticle, go ahead and put the first layer of navy. Nice long strokes for a good even finish. And cap the free edge, obviously, if you're on a natural nail. 30 seconds in the light. So we're going to go ahead and put a second coat of navy on there to give lovely coverage to the nail, which is a pretty standard feature with all our Halo Gel colours, the fantastic coverage that you get in just two coats. And you don't have to go really thick with it to achieve that coverage. So two cuts of navy, I'm just going to cure that again for 30 seconds. The next step for our Northern Lights nails is to use a colour called Andromeda. Andromeda is from the beautiful Northern Lights collection, the six colours in the collection. And they are like a two-toned glitter polish that catches the light and changes. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm using Andromeda this time. I'm going to put one coat of Andromeda over the navy and this is going to give our nail that lovely shimmery dusk feel to it. And again, you don't need a thick coat of this as with all our lovely halo polishes. It is really well pigmented. Even the glitter polishes offer fantastic coverage. And once you're happy with that, you can pop that in the light for 30 seconds. Okay, once that's cured, the next thing we're going to do is go back to our base coat and we're going to apply a thin layer of base coat over the surface of the full nail and you'll see why we're doing that in a second. Just go over 
a nice even thin layer of base coat but we're not going to cure it this time we're going to leave it wet there we go so don't cure that just leave that wet and then i've decanted onto a palette some neon green and some powder blue which i'm going to use to create the effect of the northern lights over the sky so the first bit I'm going to do is the flashes of light across the sky for this I'm going to be using a fine liner brush a long fine liner brush I'll just move that palette to one side so this is going to go directly into my wet base coat so I'm going to pick up a little bit of neon green onto my fine liner and then about halfway down the nail I'm going to create a curve across the night sky in the neon green now what's going to happen is it's going to bloom out into the base gel and give it that lovely fuzzy edge that you see with the northern lights in the sky where they're not quite there but they are you can see that's blooming out quite a bit and then we're going to pop another one next to it Coming across from edge to edge with that lovely neon green and letting it bloom out. If you want it a bit brighter, you can add a bit more. There we go. And it's giving it that lovely ethereal. out into this coat so you can let that bloom out as far as you want it to go if you want it to go out a little bit further take your brush and wiggle it through it spread it out a bit more there we are. now we're going to pop that in and cure it for 30 seconds Just giving my brush a bit of a clean with some gel brush cleaner and a wipe. It takes everything off your brush so you're not left with any residue in your bristles and it also conditions your brush to leave them nice and soft for the next time you want to use them. Okay, so there's our lights in our sky. Back to base coat again. This time, just the bottom half, we're going to pop the base coat on just under where you've done your northern lights. Nice thin layer again. And now I'm going to take a small flat gel brush. And off my palette, as I decanted earlier, the powder blue and the neon green, I'm going to pick up one colour at a time so I'm going to start with the neon green and I'm just going to lay it so I've scooped it up on the nail and then I'm going to lay it onto the base coat and just pull it down like so pick up a little bit more if you want to and just pull it down and let it bloom Give your brush clean with some gel brush cleaner and then pick up some powder blue and in the same way next to the green with your powder blue we're just going to lay that in and wiggle it down and let it bloom into the base coat like that. Once you're happy that that's bloomed out enough and giving you that lovely fuzzy haloed edge, then you can pop that in your light and cure it for 30 seconds. Yay! 
lovely. So the next thing we're going to do with our northern light nail is pop some stars in the sky. So I'm just going to pop some fringe white onto my palette. I'm going to take a small dotting tool and just pick up a little bit of the fringe white. Make sure you don't have too much because we want tiny little twinkly stars, we don't want big blocks in the sky. So just give it a little test on your palette to see how big your dot's going to be. When you're happy, just go ahead and randomly dot little white stars above the northern light rainbow that you've made on the surface of the nail. As many as you want. And then I tend to put one in the corner that's going to be a twinkle. So we're going to put our little dot on. And then I'm going to take a very, very, very fine detailing brush. And what I'm going to do with that tiny dot is just pull my detail through to create points of a star that are twinkling off in the distance. When you're happy that your sky is filled with enough stars, you can pop it in the light for 30 seconds. So far so good. So next step is our trees, the silhouettes of trees. So I'm going to take some black and pop a little bit onto my palette again. Okay, this time I'm using smaller deta uh, detail brush just to go around the edge for the land our trees are on. So I'm literally just going to come across like so and make like a smile line almost. like so. Now I like to do this bit in stages because it keeps it crisper. If you try and do it all at once you can tend to blur the trees and um, make them look a bit blotchy. So I'm just going to cure that bit first for 30 seconds. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is the tree trunk. So using a fine liner Collect some black onto your fine liner and then from the ground up I'm going to do our main middle tree stump. And just bring that up to the top of where our blue and green swells are. And then I'm going to do a smaller one the side another smaller one another smaller one at this side like so so you've got three rising up go ahead pop that in the light for 30 seconds so now we're going to pop some branches using our very fine detailing brush just pick up a little black I'm going to start with the main tree in the middle and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm literally just going to feather out some branches. Now they want to come out longer at the bottom than they do at the top and it gives it that sort of fir tree effect. Feather them out all the way to the top, and then again 
on the opposite side. Just feather them out. smaller towards the top of our tree so there's our first tree again I'm going to cure him separately so 30 seconds the reason I do this is I don't want to smudge it while I'm doing the one next to it so the same again on the two trees next to it just popping those branches on Feathering them out. Give them that lovely alpine effect. If you wanted to, you can do them both at the same time because they're not right next to each other on this one. Once that's cured, the final step is to finish off with some non-white top coat over the entire nail to give it a lovely glossy finish. Making sure, of course, that you're capping the free edge to seal that in when we get no lifting or chipping. Thirty seconds curing. And there we have our finished Northern Light Sky Nail. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, we have more videos coming on three times a week, all the time, so do subscribe for more videos. See you next time, bye!